All right, welcome back to Breakcast. This is episode number four. I am your co-host, Brandon. And I am your other co-host, Jake. And today we have something special. We have our very first guest on the Breakcast. Michael, take it away and tell us about yourself. Hey, thanks for having me on, boys. Appreciate it. Hey, of course. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm Michael. I've been, you know, friends with these guys for years and years at this point, probably since, like, middle school, I think, is... Where we started yeah, yeah that's what i remember yeah so like yeah i could just like talk about real quick like how i know you guys and everything if that's cool yeah sure yeah okay so like uh yeah so jake i believe i met first or at least became friends with first out of like yeah you know, not only just like youtube but like everybody in the friend group pretty much and then uh, yeah yeah i was like sixth grade i'm pretty sure we had like the same like it was like some kind of it's not like study hall because you know you're in middle school and not really doing a whole lot of anything you know important but yeah I remember being in reading class too yeah exactly yeah that's right yeah Yeah. with Miss Hummel cannot forget can I name drop or should that like yeah Uh, I would say you can name drop yeah it's not not really matter not full name but yeah. yeah 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 so like yeah just like teacher names okay cool gotcha but yeah, no, we were, uh, yeah, we shared a class together and everything. I believe it was with the uh, social studies teacher, but it wasn't actually social studies. And uh, I remember, I think Jake sat down at my table. And at first I was kind of like, I was just like, who is this guy? You know, <laughs> it's like, you know, in middle school, it's like, I don't know anybody, you know, just sixth grade coming yeah. out of Hill Creek and everything, you know, the, the preppy school, like for elementary, <laughs> but. And uh, yeah, I barely knew people too, so. Yeah, so it just kind of worked out that way. And then uh, Brandon, like, I don't know, like, Brandon, like, me and, like, your friendship is kind of, like, fuzzy in my memory. It's, like, I don't really really remember, like, exactly, like, how we became friends. But I do remember, like, I knew who you were in middle school, at least. Yeah, I I think it's the same. I think think it was just kind of, like, you're – you hung out those bunch and it just kind of happened. Because I know eighth grade, we were pretty close, too. Like, that's when I really remember we were super close. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of when I really became, like, I guess, part of the, the squad, you know, as, or the amigos. As yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, um, oh, yeah, because it was uh, in eighth grade with the lunch and everything. We had to, like, uh, shoot, what was it? Dude, was that table, bro. There was mad beef. Well, yeah, because, like, everybody, like, had to, like, change, like, where you sat at and everything because they just didn't. Like, yeah, because they put all the, the middle school yeah, kids like, together when they well, did eighth that- grade. Sorry, what did you say? I didn't hear that. Uh, I remember, like, they put all the middle school kids together. So, like, it was our middle school is divided by, like, grades by, like, three teams. So, like, mm-hmm. X amount of students per teams. And then they just combined all of them together. So, it was, like, new friends were for me and, like, clicks. So, like, tables became massive. Yeah, I remember, like, a lot of friends, like, or people that we were friends with that aren't our friends anymore, really. Or at least, you know, we're more associates or acquaintances, you know. Uh yeah. yeah, like, they used to, like, everybody was like, they need to sit here, and it's like, now we don't even talk to him, so it's like, it doesn't, it didn't even matter. Yeah, Jake, didn't you not sit there? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, I you was... sat with the fucking weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so I was also Dayton. sitting with them, too. So. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know, middle school is, at least a lot of middle school is very fuzzy for me, I don't remember. Yeah, I feel that. A lot, a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Yeah, I'd say, like, our friendship really just probably, like, blossomed in high school and then just, like, really, I think, tightened up, like, as college has gone on. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say high school is when we all really started hanging out. Yeah, Yeah, definitely. At least me. Because that was the birth of uh, Break Vlog as well, which kind of parallels into our next segment. So a little quick little thing about Michael as well. Uh, (laughs) If there was sort of a third-person Break Vlog, it'd be him. He's in a lot of our videos has a lot of ideas, a lot of backstory, and he even pretty much has his own sort of segment on uh, Break Vlog, if you will. Michael, do you want to kind of, yeah, do you want to kind of explain that and then the lore behind it? Yeah, so uh, the guy caught jacking off series. (laughs) Just, man, that's ridiculous saying that out loud. It's like I never tell anybody about that, but. Well, yeah, that's why I wanted you to say it, not me. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, but, you know, I'm basically a, a niche uh, internet micro-celebrity, if you will. So, uh, <laughs> True. For our, uh, our big fans out there, especially Fronkus. Love that dude. Yeah, that, that – hey, if you're listening, bro, you got some funny comments. The, no, yes. Fronkus is the go. Like, it's like, it's like Fronkus and then it's Tom Brady. Like, that's how it goes down. I agree. 
yeah frog into the top <laughs> court. but yeah. anyways yeah so with the with guy caught jacking off yeah it's like uh I wanted to be part of the channel because you guys had already been doing break vlog for a while. Like I remember uh, like seeing it and just being like, oh, this is hilarious. But then uh, in high school and even like now still, it's like I still have a little bit of an issue kind of like getting out of my comfort zone and like, you know, sticking to like, you know, inside my shell and everything. And so uh, for a while, it's like, you know, I couldn't really like, you know, I didn't want to say anything just because like I hated my voice and everything. And uh, I just thought I was like, yeah, this is probably like the easiest, you know, way for me to get on the channel without, you know, having to do too much except just like act out and like, you know, not say anything except for like grunts and moans occasionally. But yeah, because, um, yeah. yeah, it had been probably a year and we even had our first jerking off video, the one on the bus. When we we're going to yeah, was... film festival. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was the OG. Yeah. Yeah, that's whenever the guy commented fucking pizza face. On yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was so funny. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I remember seeing that and like you, you showed me that and I was like, damn, it's like you really did get you. But at the same time, it was just like, you know, it was like all in good fun and everything. So yeah, exactly. I, I thought it was funny. Like it just again, like just some random dude commenting that we had no idea who. That was like when I roasted Jake's shoes, and that one guy went off on Jake. Oh yeah, yeah. like talking about like how fake like, his Nikes those are. Fake. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the guy oh, went all in. Yeah, he did. He did not care. He was he was definitely like probably the first person to ever work with black air forces out in public and just become a menace. Right. No, the comments are ruthless. I know. But it's all, hey, you don't, you're not big unless you have haters. No, that's, that's true. That's big Everybody facts. has their haters. Yeah, so kind of, kind of keep going into the whole series. I mean, because, you know, for example, we've kind of gotten more and more creative with it. We try not to do it in the same spot multiple times. Yeah, that's like the big thing is just like coming up with like new scenarios and just like, you know, trying to like out ridiculous the last one and everything, which is like, yeah, and you know, where it's at, like. What's the what's the last one that I did at least? I think it was like the Halloween. Was it, yeah, it was a party. Halloween party. Yeah. Hey, St. Yeah, Patrick's Day party tomorrow though. Got it. Got to get it. You guys should you guys should make a video Dude, honestly. You, mix up the content. Stay, stay posted for that. Yeah, we got to mix but, up uh, the content. It's been a while since we had uh our true authentic uh backbone of break vlog content. Yeah. <laughs> That's the yeah. workhorse. Uh, yeah. <laughs> with the the jacking off videos, like you can really theoretically jack off anywhere so like the possibilities are endless you know, yeah. know it's become one of the most popular series on our on our channel and it's so. yeah and it's gotten a lot of our views a lot of our most popular videos are those videos i still don't yeah. know why i don't think we'll ever figure that out but yeah it is a little bit weird people looking that up but you know what if it gets us views it gets us views Maybe hey, not right. in a good community, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> we, we are men of the people. We give the people what they want. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, just kind of a fun little series. Um, one of my personal favorites was the boat one when we did on Wesley's boat. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my God, good. on the boat. <laughs> yeah, that, that reaction is really good. Jake, what's your favorite? <sighs> yeah, the boat one's really good. And then I'd say another good one. Uh, was that at the uh, Royals game? Yeah, yeah. The, the rain delay. And then, yeah, there was the rain delay, and then there's so his kid or guy got caught jacking off during a rain delay, and then the thunder happened right after that. Yeah, true. Or, or was that in a separate video? No, that was remember that was like guys summons like is a wizard or something. Oh, it was yeah, like exactly. Yeah, like video. summon in the rain. But yeah, those are all good. Like all the ones in different locations that we don't normally go to. I yeah, like those that was a we got to do an international one. That'd be crazy. Them international guy gets caught jerking off in the ukraine war <laughs> 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 nah, but yeah it was just kind of a fun series that we did um and michael was in a lot of them i was in a couple of them as well but for the most part that was sort of michael's thing and then that kind of evolved into just him being a staple in break vlog we have a couple guys besides jake and i who are sort of the staples of break vlog as actors yeah that's how we know Oh, sorry. What were you going to say, Jake? Oh, no, you, you keep going. I'll, I'll bring it up after. Oh, I was just going to say, it's like, yeah, I mean, you could put like Sam in there probably. It's like, you know, for like a whole summer, like a few few years of high school too. It's like, you know, he was like the big feature, like the guy like poops himself and then hits cameraman. Yeah, yeah that's a great one. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will definitely, he's going to be on the pod soon. Oh, no, he has to be. It's like, 
I mean, like, he was, like, one of, like, the first, like, I think of, like, the group to, like, really start, like, being, like, a big part of those videos. Because, like, really, you guys started doing it, like, sophomore year, and you all, like, had that one class and everything with the... Yeah, and club, too. Club's another one, especially yeah, early right on. World. Dude, that class yeah, was uh, goaded. Yeah. Yeah, but what I was just thinking of is I think the first video Michael's actually in on break vlog is either crazy ISIS raid or world record being broken. That's the, the main world record video. video. Yeah, dude. I, yeah. Dude, that, that was, six that was, years that was ago. yeah, that was like our first, first series because we did it because I was at my dad's old house when he lived in Missouri. Dude, that, that one was dope. That was a great video. And then, yeah, you know, sips per second. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Michael, you actually broke the record for yeah, most Mike Carney things. life. Yeah, yeah, it's my old Twitter handle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was that was the OG one. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for bringing that up. I forgot about that one. Dang. Yeah, I did too. Until this, uh... But yeah, that, that's a, that's another great series because then we had another one, I believe. Later. Yeah, we got we should do one like soon. Like whenever I'm back, we should do one from like <laughs> like six years later. Breaks the record again. Yeah. <laughs> no, you got to recreate the the dive cam video. Oh yeah, yeah. when I dove through my the window that went out to the roof, dude. Sam's oh. mom saw everyone got yeah. all mad. <laughs> dude, hey, there's also the uh, sick prank video. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I also was in that one's brain just threw a pillow at me when I was waking up, and then I just didn't do anything because again, it's like I just didn't know what to do in front of a camera. So like, <laughs> yeah, break hey. vlog was definitely kind of dope. Um, I. I think we've, we've spoken about this many times, but the fact that you can see like each person's evolution throughout high school and like even college too, it's kind of cool. It's like a time capsule for us. Exactly. It is a time capsule. Uh, yeah. So do, do we have anything else to add about the jerking off video? I mean, like we could potentially come up with like future scenarios. I mean, tomorrow it's like already, we know it's like leprechaun gets caught jerking off at St. Patrick's day party, you know? Like, yeah. Yes. I mean, that'd we, be a good one. Yeah, that's definitely one, but we'll definitely come up with more in the future. Um, oh, yeah, no, for I sure. Think, that's, just, that's just the start. Like, Yeah, I think we should kind of go into our main topic of today, which ooh. is we want to discuss our views and stories about the paranormal. So the paranormal, anything outside the normal, obviously the name, uh, things you can't quite explain, bumps in the nights, shadowy figures, things like that. Um, it's a, a very interesting topic, and it's a very fun one, so – for the rest of this pod, we'll pretty much be going over that. Michael, we'll have you start out since you're our guest today. Okay, so uh, you want me just to kind of go over like what I think of it, and then or, kind yeah, of well, maybe like okay, how about first we'll start with like, do you believe in it? And we'll kind of go around the the room and say it, or the Zoom room theoretically. Okay, yeah. Uh, all right, so like I, I don't know, I'm on the fence about it. There are like definitely many incidences that like. I've had throughout my life that have like, you know, are not explainable or like, you know, like even like people that I know, like talk about ghosts or like, you know, my grandma had like an alien encounter at one point too, she claims and all that stuff. And it's like, I don't know. It's like, there's some things like, yeah, I can see like, you know, potentially like why it might be like a thing or something or like, you know, it might not directly be like ghosts or something, but you know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. That's really about kind of like where I say I was just like, you know, on the fence, but okay, I can't yeah, really much further into that. But I definitely have had yeah, plenty of like encounters in my time, so I don't know. All right, yeah, I'm sure we'll go into those in a sec. Oh, we definitely will. Uh, Brandon, what do you think? What is I'm a hundred percent believe that, that exists. I just think that there's got to be something else out there. Um, especially like being someone that like is a little bit religious, I think. I think a lot of time, if, if you're more religious, you're more likely to believe in something else, some other, other thing, you know what I mean? But I definitely believe there's just gotta be some, like, I don't think science can explain absolutely everything that goes on. I a hundred percent agree with you right there. I mean, there are so many things that go on that we don't understand. Like, you know, we don't even know everything about our own like planet, you know, how are we yeah. supposed to know about all these different yeah, like the ocean. Yeah, I don't we hardly know about the ocean. Dude, I was yeah. right about to say that. <laughs> like, yeah, we know more about yeah. the moon than the ocean. I think that's correct. Which is crazy no, I think, to think about. Right. Like, like, considering it, that's like, how many people have even been to the moon? Like, what? Like, 
I don't even know how many. Just like I don't know either. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I feel like a little over I'll ten. Maybe. Like, oh yeah, Jake, go ahead and look up and see how many. Wasn't William yeah. Shatner supposed to go into space? That just occurred in my mind. Okay, there's only been twelve I think people. Did. Twelve people have walked on the moon. Okay, so I was right. Just like a little over ten. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Huh. Cool. Yeah. I'll- that. Yeah. Exactly. But. I don't know. That's I think that's just kind of my opinion. So I guess we can just kind of go over like experiences and we can just sort of talk about it. It's kind of nice, Michael, actually having you on because you do give a differing opinion than Jake and I. So it's more of a discussion than just two guys sort of bouncing the same points off each other. Chatting it on. Yeah. 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 I mean, I'm like with my stories, it's like it's gonna make me seem probably more like I'm on your side, which it's like, you know, I probably am. It's like, you know, a little bit more leaning towards like, yeah, it's like real and everything, but at the same time, it's like I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I just can't explain it. Like, it's hard to really think of like a way to fully explain something that's like in itself unexplainable, you know? Sure. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. But, uh, so, yeah. So, what what have been the, uh, (laughs) what have been the things that have, uh, happened? What, what kind of experiences have you had? You talking to me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, whenever I was like really little I just remember like laying in bed and then like seeing some kind of like thing like I don't know kind of almost look like a baby Bigfoot like do like a like a somersault like roll like over like across the like, oh, room and everything really like, while yeah while I'm laying in bed like checked around the corner of my bed didn't see anything literally I have no idea what it was like when I was younger too it's like you know uh, a lot of these happen when I was young and everything it's like I don't know maybe it's just like I had like a really bad case of schizophrenia that I somehow overcame whenever I was like five, but like, uh, like there was a, uh, shoot, I'm like, dang, there's like too many of them. Oh, okay. Here's one. Whenever I was actually a little bit older, uh, my dad actually was like, this was like my first job whenever I was doing construction with my dad for a while. Cause that's what he does for a living. And he was like telling me about this apartment complex he was working at. And how like some guy like on one of the floors like ended up like dying of natural causes like in his bedroom and everything or just like yeah in his room and uh like nobody knew like he was there or anything just like kind of an old single guy like and so his like body was just sitting there for a while and then my dad went in like after like everything had been cleared out for like you know a few weeks and everything and started like painting it and then claimed to have seen like a kind of a black shadowy figure even though it was like the windows were like all closed and everything so it's like all dark in there anyways but it's like there was still like an even darker you know darkness just like (laughs) moved across the room went into the closet and then like he opened the closet didn't see anything and then he just didn't say anything about it until one of the other workers I was working on the same floor claimed to have like seen the exact same thing without my dad ever like you know ever mentioning it to anybody so it just kind of kind of weird and uh, yeah and then I went there but nothing ever happened whenever I was at the building or anything except for just like you know all the crazy residents that like were alive and well over there well I don't know if I could say well it was a pretty crappy place but yeah just (laughs) yeah um one of my sort of beliefs with the paranormal a lot of it is like souls that are sort of trapped or they didn't die peacefully or something or they they still have something they've got to do like, that's what yeah. I personally think. Like, a lot of the the ghosts or the spirits or whatever are just lives that still need to fulfill something or just there's just something that's keeping them from truly passing on into the afterlife. Yeah, that's what I believe, too, because, I mean, it makes sense when you think about it. Like, if, if, you're, if you're not finished here, you're not going to leave. Like, whenever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so I've, uh, yeah, I've seen a, I've, one of the things I like to do, um, there's a guy on YouTube, his name's Corpse Husband. He doesn't do it as much anymore, but he did like scary stories, but some of them were like paranormal too. And just like kind of hearing him explain things and, and hear the narration. If you haven't watched him, he's honestly, it's really cool. He finds him off Reddit and I've read a lot of Reddit posts too. And just some mm-hmm. of it makes sense. A lot of those spirits are like, you know, people that used to live on that property or even like, for example, you know, you, people have been told, Hey, don't remove anything from like native american burial grounds and if you move it like bad things happen i think because spirits might be attached to those objects um due to maybe they died of like cruelty during united states history um or just you know soldiers dying in battle or just some traumatic death and it and they kind of stay there no yeah yeah, that makes perfect sense to me yeah i mean from like a i guess like a more scientific perspective on it like to add into it 
uh, isn't it like uh, with energy it's like you know energy never like truly goes away it just like transfers into like a different form yeah yeah so like that's like kind of like where I could like see like why ghosts like you know are real and everything because it's like yeah it's like people it's like if there's like so much like energy being concentrated like you know moments before they die it's like you know more than likely they're not going to be like transferring or anything which is like probably like why also people like you know obviously it's like whenever like you know somebody's dying and it's like you just want them to be like you know calm and like you know chill out and everything and just like you know be at ease and everything and that's yeah. like, you know, a little bit more importance to it than just like you know it's like for your own sake and the person who's like passing's sake of just like you know having comfort but it's also just so that way maybe they could like fully pass on like their energy yeah. and transfer properly you know one thing that kind of goes with that uh, i don't know if you've ever seen this show it's called expedition unknown yeah i have yeah I so seen that. they did a that's a great show but uh they did a special on like afterlives and they went all over the world to like see like what you know different cultures did for their afterlife like you know mm-hmm. what they believed in all this stuff and uh part of it it was it was t- kind of talking about like the christian section of it like what a christian is believe and uh there's this doctor who like actually studies uh like what the brain does like after death and stuff and he found that like in people that have like their brain like has died you know and then they get revived like they can recall like certain sounds or like you know smells and stuff like that happened when they were like dead technically huh so like so he he pretty much said and like this is, he was a real doctor you know he pretty much said that like you know the human brain doesn't like fully or like something in the humans you know doesn't die like when they actually die mm. which is crazy see that's so that was going to lead into my next point i think i don't know if this is exact measurement but apparently when you die your body supposedly loses up like 21 grams and supposedly that's your soul exiting your body because i think wow. I, th- I remember mi- there's like a MythBusters thing and there are like myths they can't test and one of them was like do you lose like 21 grams when you die because obviously they're not going to find a bunch of almost dead people and then kill them no. just to measure their souls. <laughs> but that's definitely that definitely could be a possibility of the idea of a soul. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, it was, it, they also like interviewed more like near death like people or people that like have died and came back. Yeah, like and, medically uh, were declared dead. Yeah, and there's like this this girl who's at the hospital and you know she was declared dead. And then she's like, she remembers like going outside of the building, like outside of the hospital. And then she like, remember vividly, like on a different floor or something, seeing like a pair of like shoes in the window. And then like later when she came back, like those shoes were there. Dude, that's crazy. Which I thought it was crazy. So, All right, so oh, sorry. I, I just have a quick question. So like with the, like, you know, your beliefs and like, you know the supernatural like ghosts and stuff it's like how does that like affect your beliefs in the like you know the recent trend of a lot of girls and like you know well you know everybody but like mostly you know women that tend to you know like collecting like crystals and rocks and like claiming that they have like uh different types like oh that's a bunch of bull crap crystal chicks (laughs) oh my goodness bro (laughs) <laughs> dude you're not, one of my friends she, she has, oh, my bad one of my friends she has crystals and every time she posts on her snapchat story like on her private she's like healing today i swipe up i'm like you're full you're full of shit <laughs> she gets so mad <laughs> yeah yeah i just I've, never been a crystal or astrology holy crap don't i don't want to hear anything about astrology no yeah, yeah i mean such a tourist yeah, I don't say brandon <laughs> I think I actually am a Taurus, funny enough. No, that's why I said it, because I know. <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know a whole lot about that. Uh, I mean, my first inclination is to think that, you know, it's not real. Anything. But then again, like they say, limestone, it holds a lot of energy in it because all the, the fossils and stuff in it. So I don't know. There, there, could, there could be something to that. But it's probably not a lot, though. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, don't I just seen too many memes, so it's if, ruined if for is. me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Cool. I'm not a I'm not a crystal person, by the way, in case you're wondering. Like that's not like my well, yeah, place. funny enough, my mom, so in Sedona, Arizona, it, that's where like the devil's bridge is and like the big red rocks that you kind of see on tourist attractions or on websites. Um, mm-hmm. she got me a wristband from there and it was made of like there's like a crystal on there. 
that supposedly helps with anxiety. Um, hmm. And I like wearing it. Um, and sometimes I don't know if it's placebo because I was told, but sometimes I do feel calmer. But at the same time, it could be a placebo of like, oh, this is supposed to help me be less anxious. And then I'm less anxious. And then I'm, maybe it's just my mind doing something. So that might be maybe yeah, what I, the crystal thing is as well. Yeah, that could be. I think it'd be cool if somebody could like do a real like study, you know, on people that don't know, like have some placebo crystals and then, you know. <laughs> Yeah, some, that'd yeah, definitely be some interesting. Because I mean, if it works, then you know I'll gladly get crystals. <laughs> but for now, I just I I don't know. I just think it's corny. I've just seen too many TikToks and memes and stuff. Like it's kind of ruined for me. Yeah, yeah that also that, that kind of reminds me of the balance or what were they the balance like bracelets or whatever. Or or like fushigi, like the magic balance. Okay, ball. that's different. That's that cool ball. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know like. <laughs> What is it like the titanium like baseball necklaces? You know? Oh, <laughs> dude, <laughs> like, that was like, like that. oh my, that's what oh, yeah, it's like people like ask me, it's like yo, push me, bro, I won't fall. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, I feel like yeah, I don't know. I, I'm not gonna like completely discount crystals because you know I don't know. You know, maybe that maybe that is real. Yeah, definitely. You but, can never count anything out. But I mean, yeah, I own a salt lamp, and apparently that's supposed to help with like negative energy, and it, it really hasn't. So, <laughs> just what's well, like dream know. catchers? Like dream catchers? They're supposed to help catch your nightmares. See, that is different though. That's you know, that's like a. I don't know if that's legit, like Native American thing, or is that? Oh yeah, something? true. Because yeah, a lot of that is spiritual. <laughs> um, but at the same time, they do have you know ayahuasca, which is a sort of uh, psychedelic. Like, yeah. Um, Cause you never know with history like that, how much is legitimate, how much is, or were they tripping? That's another thing too. You can think about um, with people who have used psychedelics and being able yeah. to see certain things. Is that because of the drugs? Yeah. In, in that uh, episode I was talking about, or that series, the expedition unknown, he actually did that. He went and did ayahuasca. Whoa. Like to see, to see what happened. Like it was legit. Like you, you guys should watch that if you, can it's on discovery plus no, i'll be down to, like it that's the guy who's like kind of like slightly bigger with like a pretty like short like trimmed up beard and everything yeah he has like reddish hair yeah yeah Josh, exactly okay yeah Josh that's good. yeah yes yes no oh, man love that dude i remember uh, watching him like the first time in uh gulf shores while we were on vacation just because it was like raining all day and like i got yeah. addicted to it for a while yeah no and his first because like expedition unknown is kind of more like historical like archaeological stuff yeah exactly. that's how i would put it but uh his, i remember we used to watch his first show which was destination truth and they did like paranormal stuff like some ghost stuff and then uh like they did monsters too like you know kind of like mountain monsters but like they actually oh, you know dude. they didn't fake <laughs> dude, I, man i've not thought about that show in like years i'm glad you just said that man the snally gaster that'll live with me forever Yo, we, we got to, if, if somebody listening right now hasn't watched Mountain Monsters, you should Go do it. Yeah. Do it. Uh, kind of, so, so speaking of that, uh, one of the big things here in Arizona slash New Mexico are uh, skinwalkers sort of going into the whole yeah. monster category. That's a really big one here. Um, it's not really as big, you know, back in Missouri, but that's like, that's something here that people take very seriously. And I think it's really interesting um, with sort of like the shape shifting skinwalkers sort of things like i've i've heard stories of like encounters and that's that's pretty interesting you know um i i think the woods would be the perfect spot you know with all the the desert and stuff out here and the woods yeah. and things like that like you never know what's lurking in there that's why like bigfoot and all that i think they're just mutations of something all right yeah or some people think bigfoot could be like a species of you know almost like homo sapien or like you know neanderthal or something that never yeah. extinct or jake yeah, like, he hasn't shaved ones. yeah it could be <laughs> <laughs> i do have that one picture look like jake that. looking like bigfoot on my phone still <laughs> <laughs> jake foot <laughs> um hey. yeah does anyone have anything else about paranormal stuff um yeah oh i oh, have some no, oh yeah go ahead me. sorry i i just didn't know if anyone else had anything oh yeah so I haven't had any like major things happen to me personally, you know, but uh, one thing that happened like last year is 
I was in my apartment at the time, which is it's in like a new uh it's like a new construction type thing. Like it's pretty new. Mm-hmm. You know, the brake plug hype house. Yeah. Yeah. But uh yeah, it's in like an older area, you know, like all the houses around it are probably eighteen hundreds, like early nineteen hundreds. And um it's like me and my girlfriend, we were going to sleep, you know, like and uh we looked up and the ceiling fan just was like spinning like very slowly and we you know there wasn't any windows open it was in like fall so like uh there's no ac on you know the windows were shut and it was it just started slowly spinning like my girlfriend saw it start and then it just stopped and that was it and so we had no idea you know (laughs) yeah like it never, never got any like bad vibes or anything but it was just different it was just like it was just a it just started thing. spinning, dude. That's yeah, like and demons it, and stuff, bro, and like Ouija boards, bro. Uh, uh-uh, uh, I'm getting out of there, bro. If no, anyone's no, like, yeah, no, I'm haunted yeah, by no, demons, no, no, no way, bro. I'm leaving. No Ouija boards, no nothing. I don't mess with that stuff. Yeah, yeah. no way. Me neither. But yeah, I don't I think might, I don't uh, think that's what it was. But <laughs> sorry, Jake, I keep interrupting you, man. I have no idea how to. No, talk you're, no, you're good. Right. <laughs> but, that's just a part of the no, podcast. You get sort of used to it, and we're Jake and I are still trying to figure this out too. Yeah, it's hard, but yeah, that was that was like the first thing that I remember that was like, oh, that was crazy. That I already spooked believed you in a little it before bit. that. No. And then, uh, oh, I was saying another thing, unless you have something to say about that one. No, I mean, I was just going to say, it kind of reminds me, uh, like, you know, Bradley, you know, Jake, that's like kind of your, your boy right there. But yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, I remember I was hanging out with him one night and, uh, it was like just me him and his girlfriend like all his like you know pets and everything and like their new place and he's talking about how it's like they moved out of the old one and everything just because like they like they knew it was haunted and everything and they're talking yeah. about how like you know stuff was getting like thrown around like in their bedroom and stuff or like you know like lights would like just shut off and on like randomly and like i think yeah. one i think one time like his girlfriend like woke up and she had like you know like the, the three scratches which is like you know oh hell no nah, dude i'd be out of there i'd break no, up well, with her and i'd did. run <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I you're on your own. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, none of that for me. <laughs> yeah. yeah then the, oh, the other thing that happened to me, I don't know if it was, you know, legit still, but I mean, it, it seemed like it was. So, like, my uh, parents had bought this house to fix up. And uh, so, like, I was working in the basement. And it was always like a weird kind of vibe down there, mm-hmm. you know, like because it was, I don't know, it was a, it was a strange house, yeah. But uh, and I heard like I was just working, and like nobody else was in the house because like they went to go, I don't know, to a hardware store or something, and uh, then I just heard like a whistle because like I'd been whistling, you know, to kind of like not have it be silent in there, <laughs> and then I was listening to a podcast at the same time, and then I just heard like like a whistle like like right next to me oh so like, what? Dude. Dude, i, I would have like, ran bro i would have crapped and my then, pants and ran i know <laughs> and then i like paused i paused my podcast because i'm like wait was that in the podcast some played it back nothing so then I, I went outside i was like no i'm not dealing with that right now dude i would have gone further i probably would have just like you know gone home like entirely like i went out yeah <laughs> so no i would i'm oh, sorry about i that. waited outside until they until they got back like I'm not messing with that, dude. One of my favorite TikToks. Uh, this kid, he, he was like trying day one trying to catch my shower ghost, bro. So he was like pretending like uh he was peeing, like he had a water bottle, like a Gatorade one. He's squirting it, and then he turns around as fast as he can and punches as hard as he can and breaks his shower curtain and knocks the rod <laughs> off the wall. No. <laughs> like, I'm trying to catch my shower ghost lacking. <laughs> Dude, okay, Brandon, I'm not gonna lie. That kind of reminded me when you mentioned like the Gatorade balls, like because I was just thinking about this the other day. Remember in junior year, whenever we got in trouble for like having them in like the Gatorade balls and like spraying them at each other in like the middle of class, bro? Those are dope. Those Gatorade bottles just <laughs> yeah. squirting them around at everyone, <laughs> dude. I, I still have the my OG one that I got for that year exclusively because everyone else had one. So I was like, of course, I, I think I have a newer one. I like using it, um, whenever I do any sort of cardio. Just having that to just kind of like boom right there. Um, yeah, I don't know where my mine are at. But it's for me, the only I don't really have any good paranormal stuff. My only thing is just that feeling of being watched at night. 
Oh, um, I hate that, dude. Yeah, well, my so my room at my house that I'm at um, in Arizona, uh, I share with four guys who are in my fraternity. Um, it's a really big room, so it's really spacious. So obviously, like you feel like you're being watched. You wake up and like, all, you know, on the other corner, like you could maybe see some, or that could be where someone's hiding. So I'm always kind of like, you know, I always have something by my bedside, like just in case something happens. Like I got, you know, I'm ready to pull up, and that could even just be not even just paranormal either, just like you know, someone who breaks in or whatever. Yeah, no, I keep I make sure to keep a knife by my bed for both like ghosts and demons and then also the occasional, you know, you know, uh break and enterer. But <laughs> no, you gotta keep the knife from the Bible right next to your bed. Yeah, exactly. like at hotels. <laughs> yeah, I mean yeah. Hey, that's what works. Motel six knows what's up. <laughs> yeah, get out your cross necklace and your holy water. <laughs> Have y'all ever stayed in a motel before? Like like a like a uh, motel motel? Yeah, like like a super eight kind of thing. I stayed in whenever actually when I moved to Columbia, I stayed in a motel six for like a week. Really? Yeah, that one um by the uh what's that crappy grocery store? That's way by flips. What what is it called? With like Mosier's or something? Yeah, by the one by Mosier's. I stayed yeah. there. Formerly known as Patricia's. I used to go Yeah, there no, it was time. Patricia's, yeah. And then I moved and then we went to that jury in by the mall. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. I know that jury, and I think I spent a couple nights in that one, just like you know, like house getting fumigated or something. I don't know, but like I would never want to stay in like <laughs> those bad motels, bro. All no. bed bugs and ghosts and killers and like weirdos and <laughs> prostitutes. Like no way. Yeah, no, you got to <laughs> freaking like a lot lizard coming down trying to like <laughs> kick your door down. <laughs> like, the, the 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 ladies of the evening or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah like, friends of the road. Yeah, friends of the <laughs> friends road. Of the- Dude, in case y'all don't know, Trailer Park Boys is probably like our favorite show, like out of everybody. And it's, it's a classic, even in my fraternity, too. Like, it's a cult classic here. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> it just that that is a whole nother thing that we could eventually get into. But that that's a good show. That's one you got to watch. Trailer Park oh, Cast, yeah. that would be good. And, and even they, they have the episode with the, the Sam Squinch. Yeah, and they beat him with the baseball bat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We would fight you, but we're all bruised up from eating each other with metal bats because of the Sam squint. Then, <laughs> then it turned out to be Sam Lasco. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah. The caveman brushing yeah. his big teeth with a log. <laughs> oh, what a classic. Yeah, we, we can't go too far into that. We're going to be here all night. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but does anyone sort of have anything else to add to the topic? Uh, oh, I mean, I think we've we covered the ghost side of things pretty well. Do we want to get into other things like aliens or something? I think that should be for another episode because we otherwise this episode will be like hours. Yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, we'll definitely have to have Michael back for more paranormal stuff, especially because you know he told us about his grandma's alien interaction. Yeah, Ooh, yeah, like, we could save that. Yeah, definitely. I could get that as a little deep real quick if you want me to. What's good? I, I said I could just give that as like a little like tease or something, and then like you know get ready for like the next. Nah, they they got teased enough. We don't want to we yeah, don't want to no, uh, tease them too we much. Tickled them plenty. Like, um, I think it's I, too much. Are we kind of yeah, good exactly. to wrap up? How are we feeling? <laughs> yeah. Well, um, should we talk about anything else? You think? Or... Right. I think we're kind of good. I think we got what we need to. We, I mean, we, to, we, we gotta could, save it too. Or we could we also need, like, uh, talk about like because the AFC West, you know, that's where both of our, you know, yeah. I All mean, right, we could, cool. but let's save it. We have, you know, we're gonna have a bunch of podcasts. We may as well save ideas. Right. Yeah. All yeah. right. Um. Well, this has been Breakcast, uh, Michael. Thank you a ton for coming on as our first ever guest. It has been a yes. pleasure. Yes. Thank, thank you, you so much for having me. It was really fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, anyway, uh, I am your co-host, Brandon. And I am uh, Jake. And this and has been... Michael is Michael. Yeah, yeah. and this has Not been Breakcast. Thanks, everyone, for watching. <laughs>